This video is going to serve as a quick review of special right triangles. The two types of special right triangles are 30, 60, 90 and 45, 45, 90. These numbers refer to the angles of the triangle. Another thing we're going to need to use during this video is the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Let's start by looking at an example of a 45, 45, 90 right triangle drawn in the center. Now, the really cool thing and important thing about 45, 45, 90 right triangles is that because it's isosceles, it has two angles that are the same, that means that the legs, the two shorter legs, are also going to be the same. So in this particular example, I've labeled one as three. Well, I'm going to leave the, label the other one, therefore, also as three. So now we're actually pretty close to solving. We can just use the Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse. Now I've started the Pythagorean theorem on the left. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So I know 3 squared plus 3 squared has to equal whatever my h squared is, my c squared. So that's going to be 9 plus 9, which is 18 equals c squared. So now c, well c equals the square root of 18, and I know none of you will stop there because we just learned how to simplify radicals. So c in fact is going to equal 3 square root of 2. So my hypotenuse was 3 square root of 2. Now the really important thing to notice here, and this you may remember from geometry, is that the hypotenuse is actually whatever each leg was with the square root of 3 attached. So for example, if my leg had been 4, my hypotenuse would have been 4 square root of 2. Leg hypotenuse. If my leg had been 1 half, my hypotenuse would have been 1 half square root of 2. If my leg had been the square root of 3, my hypotenuse would have been the square root of 6. Now I'm going to do one more quick example. This time though, instead of knowing the leg, we know the hypotenuse, which is 3. But we can still do it because we still know that the two legs are the same. So here I've labeled them as A and B. Well, if they're actually the same, I can give them the same letter. So we'll do A and A. So now I have that A squared plus A squared equals 3 squared. Well, a squared plus a squared is just 2a squared equals 9. Divide by 2, divide by 2. a squared equals 9 halves. Now I just have left to take the square root, so a equals the square root of 9 halves. Well, you guys know a little bit better, because this still sort of has a denominator that's a square root, because this is really a equals the square root of 9 over the square root of 2. Simplify to 3 square root of 2. Now if I rationalize this denominator, I'm going to be left with a equals 3 square root of 2 all over 2. And that, as ugly as it looks, is actually my best final answer. A good thing to notice, though, is actually this step right before we rationalize, that what we actually did is we took the hypotenuse and we divided by the square root of 2. Just like in the other case, we had taken the leg and multiplied by the square root of 2. Now let's take a look at 30, 60, 90 right triangles. Below, I've actually drawn, not in 30, 60, 90, but in equilateral triangle. So all of the sides are the same. And because all the sides are the same, all the angles are also the same. And as we've discussed, that means that each angle must be 60 degrees. So here's where it gets interesting. If I was to drop a perpendicular from the center, I'll split that top 60 degree angle into two 30 degree angles. Also, that means that I'll split the base into two equal pieces. So if the whole thing was two, that means now this section, let's change the color, do it in red. This section is one. 
More generally, it's really just one half of whatever the whole side length is. So here's our first generalization about 30, 60, 90, is the small side is always half of the hypotenuse. And then we can just use the Pythagorean theorem to find the other missing side. Let's call this b. Why not? So we know b squared plus 1 squared equals 2 squared. b squared, therefore, equals 1, 4, equals 3. So b equals the square root of 3. So therefore, the other generalization we can make is that, this is technically 1 times the square root of 3, is that the long leg is half of the hypotenuse, or 1, times the square root of 3. Let's look at another example. So here I have another triangle, and this time it's just a 30, 60, 90. And I've labeled the hypotenuse as 6. Well, from the last slide, we saw that that means that the short leg has to be half of 6. So the short leg is 3. And then the other side, the long leg, it will be 3 times the square root of 3. But let's just verify that using the Pythagorean theorem. So we'll do, we'll call this b. Let's, so we'll pretend we don't know it. So b squared plus 3 squared equals 6 squared. b squared plus 9 equals 36. b squared equals 27. So b equals the square root of 27. And now you guys know we can simplify this into the square root of 9 times the square root of 3. So b just equals 3 square roots of 3, which in fact does verify what we thought we had. Okay, so for homework, I'd like you to try these four problems. The directions for all of them is to find all, oh, that should be right, find all the missing sides. So 1 and 2 are 45, 45, 90, and 3 and 4 are 30, 60, 90. Good luck.